There we go. That feels like a keeper. Yep, that's a good one. Well guys, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in. It's gonna be a little bit windy today. You can probably hear it in the camera. Let's go catch some more. is a crappie that one fooled me right there they were lined up down there like like stripe right on the bottom just a keeper I almost didn't throw at that school there they are right there there he is that's a good one that is a good one <laughs> guys I'll show you what I'm using here today it's a nice little slab it seems like the last two or three trips that I've made the fish seem to be keying on these smaller baits uh, I mean I've caught fish on other baits too but it seems like when I pick these up it's just a small mini fluke style bait made by slot limit baits it's a 1.75 inch and I'm double jig rigging it. The main reason I'm double jig rigging it is because I've got light jig heads on. These are 1 16th ounce. And I've actually cut the collars off of these because with these smaller baits, there's not a whole lot of plastic on it. And if you put them on a jig head that's got a collar on it, uh, the plastic will, will mess up on it pretty quick and you won't get to use them much. But I cut the collars off of it or you could just get you a jig that doesn't have collars on it and put you a little dab of super glue on it and you can catch several fish on that again these are made by slot limit baits it's the 1.75 inch mini fluke when the when the fish are keying on smaller baits these are an excellent choice to go with Guys, I'm just scanning and following right along the river channel right here, and I'm searching for brush, stumps, or anything that the crappie might be holding on. When you find a few groups of fish, pay attention to the depth that they're in because you should be able to repeat that pattern. There is a ton of fish right here. Guys, on your home lake, this could be the creek channel that you're also searching. Uh, it could be the river channel. But the key thing is finding the right depth. This is just a day or two before the first official day of fall. But this is actually how I search for crappie at pretty much any time of the year. Crappie are a structure or cover oriented fish and they like to hang out with their buddies and that makes them easier to find most of the time. There he is. <clears throat> that was my first cast on the drop. He's not a big one. Boy he swallowed it too. 
aggravate my buddies about not setting the hook quick enough when they swallow it like that. I guess I got payback right there. Oh, I missed him. There he is. It's a keeper. Yes, that's a, a slab. You just gotta have more patience some days than others, but especially at this time of the year. If you guys watched any of my other videos, I have mentioned that several times this summer. Right there's what I'm fishing. I dropped the trolling motor and I marked the waypoint actually and dropped the trolling motor and on my first cast caught one off of it and then caught that, that good one there. There he is. It's a decent one. <clears throat> that one brought out about three or four with it. Just a keeper. They're starting to get shoulders on them again. Uh, Getting, getting closer to the end of the summer and they'll be feeding up for the for the fall and winter here of course actually they feed all summer long but it seems like they don't start getting the getting the meat back on them good till right before the fall There he is. Just another keeper. <clears throat> Guys, I'm just fishing really, I mean really, really slow. Just barely turning my reel handle. And once I get, know I'm in the zone, I don't even, I don't even, I'm not even watching live scope. I'm just, I look up and start watching my line because they're not really slamming it. Uh, I'm just kind of, I'm seeing, I'm feeling them, but not, they're not slamming it. But I'm seeing my line jump. I've, I've had conversations with some of my buddies before you hear about people watching the screen all the time, which I have, a, I do watch the screen a lot, but once I'm in the zone, I don't have to watch the screen. I, I, I start watching my line. Because sometimes that's all you'll see is your line jump. There it is. Don't think that's a crappie. Yes, it is too. Had him hooked under the chin and he was, took off like a stripe. Just a little keeper. There he is. Got a little sweet spot out there.
I'm having to drop it right into the school. I always like to freshen up after a, a break off or if I catch two or three fish. I just broke off so I have to I got in the brush. So I'm going to freshen up everything. That's a good one. Moved on to another waypoint that I made. <clears throat> that was my first first good cast to the waypoint. Just a keeper. Probably 11 inches or so. He's out here on some of this stuff that I hadn't fished yet. I marked about five or six waypoints and the wind keeps carrying me back to the other ones. Go out here and check some of this that I hadn't disturbed yet. Oh yeah, there we go. catch one out of that right there you don't have to have live scope to do this you could throw out buoys once you find the cover or structure and fan cast until you find the fish Ooh, that ought to be that ought to be a good first cast and it was <laughs> Guys, when you do this enough, it's 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 very predictable what's going to happen. <clears throat> that was my first cast to the pile, literally my first cast, and I got lucky and made the right cast. That's probably a 10 incher. That's one thing that I love about crappie fishing. When they're predictable, they're predictable. That feels like a good one. That's because I got a crappie and a... Yeah. Black nose and a stripe. Get rid of the strike first. That's still a good crappie. Yeah. Nice little black nose. Had a double on the double jig rig. There he is. That's a good one. might wish I had to dip net on this one if it's a if it's a crappie oh and it is it is look at that one yes sir how about that I finally got a good one in the boat check that out that is a stud right there. How about that? I just lost a, not one quite this big, but it was a good one. I was upset about that, but this, this one makes up for it right here. That's probably not a two pounder, but it's close. Look how thick that one is. Beautiful white crappie. 
All right. One's a pound and three quarters. One pound, 12 ounces. Nice. And guys, this is the best thing about it right here. I'm gonna let her go. Try to revive her a little bit. I've had her out a little bit longer than I should have. school right here that is mostly crappie i'm sure there's a few bait fish in it but it is mostly crappie because i've already caught several out of it there he is it's a decent one small compared to the one that I just caught but that's an 11 inch fish right there when you go from 15 to 16 inches to 11 it <laughs> there's a big difference although that's a that's a nice nice keeper crappie right there there he is Feels like a decent one. Oh yeah. That's why it feels like a decent one. I got two. One almost keeper and one non-keeper. Little white crappie. If it had been one and weighed that much, it would have been a good one. I, th I thought it was a good one. There he is. That one hit like a decent one. Yes. I probably need to go to a heavier jig right here. But I'm too stubborn to get down there and do it because it takes a little while. If I let off the trolling motor, it pulls me off of them every time. Saw him come up. I am really having to fight the wind again right here, guys. Just lost another one. these fish today have been anywhere from 13 out to about 17 foot that seems to be the magic depth today right we'll let her go decent one This is a good one. Let's see if I can get him in the boat. Yes, sir. 
that one's heavy. Nice. That's a little bit better than the average fish today. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up with that fish right there. I hope you can hear me. Uh, the wind's blowing right into the camera, but I don't have any choice. I've got it spot locked. I've probably caught close to 100 fish right now. It's been a fun day. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope to see you on the water. And I'm going to go catch some more fish. See ya.